praise the Lord, mightiest prophet of the Lord. And then uh, Pastor Faustin, well, Jehovah El Olam, the God, the Lord Almighty, Jehovah El Gibor, the Lord, my Savior, my Redeemer, and my Master, Jehovah El Leon, Jehovah El Rohi, Jehovah El Hosseinu, Jehovah El Oheka, the God of Israel, the creator of heaven, he that created all the stars and the universe, and he created man, and he allowed man to worship him. Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Goel. He has spoken with me again about the huge revival that is coming to Helsinki, to Finland. It seems the Lord has decided to explode a big revival into Europe, in Europe, in Finland, because it, this has been a non-stop, continuous conversation about uh, the big revival in Finland. I can see that the heavenly envoy, the heavenly delegation, is now all focused on Finland. The conversation at the throne of God the Father, my Lord, is now for some days focused on Finland, focused on Helsinki, Finland, Finland, and Finland. So it seems to me that there's a great disposition of love from heaven right now that is directed towards the nation of Finland by the Lord Jehovah, the creator of all the nations. And at this time, it appears that the Lord now has made up his mind in the manner of his conversation with me to ignite a historic revival in the land of Finland. And so this past night, again, the Lord spoke with me about Finland. He took me to Finland and he showed me the humongous historic healing service, the great humongous historic healing anointing that will strike down that will hit down in Finland, in Helsinki, when he brings his servant. I don't know why he shows me at the roof also, and even in the vehicles I saw last time. So it seems it's going to be a big visitation now. Jehovah is now focused on visiting Finland, the people of Finland. There must be something very special about the people of Finland in the disposition of their hearts towards Jehovah the Lord and that he has chosen at this hour by his grace and immense concealed and hidden wisdom in the upper chambers of heaven. He has now opened up, unveiled this disposition of love that he has deposited in the hearts of the Finnish people. Love for Jesus, love for revival, love for righteousness and holiness, that he may love them and cause them to understand the times that the Messiah is coming. So again, we see already, even in the manner of his operations right now, that the other day, the last Saturday really, that Saturday when the Lord led me to do a healing service from the house here, a cripple stands up and walks in Finland which is now breaking news. It's all over the, the, the social media. It is trending. Everyone is in shock. Believers, non-believers are saying they're headed to Helsinki. And so it seems the Lord Jehovah has now decided that this is the hour at which to ignite a huge revival in Europe, but to do it from Finland, to make Finland the epicenter of that revival. I am indeed very humbled and uh, blessed that the Lord has remembered the other nations now. And so yesterday at night, yesterday night, he again took me to Finland, Helsinki, and showed me this historic, unbelievable healing anointing that would come when his servant steps into the land, and the people would be healed, and it would be a big, refreshing time, joy, revival, visitation of the Lord in his glory, visiting the people of Finland 
visitation of the Lord in his power and love and grace. So the Lord has decided to now up, to pace up, to speed up, to hasten up the process of preparing the way for the coming of the Messiah in Europe. And he seems to have chosen Finland as a very important place at which he will launch a lot of the European revival. If they cut this right, which I know they will, but there is a great visitation coming to Finland at this hour. And then the Lord also speaks to me about uh, the church there, the, 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 the organizers and their arrangements there. Something very nice, very wonderful is going to happen to them, the organizers there. Something very, very wonderful. The Lord has prepared a very special thing to them, to to them. I cannot disclose here, but something very nice is going to happen to them, the organizers of all this. And so it's going to be such a beautiful and wonderful and blessed time for us again to sit under the teachings of righteousness, to listen to the oracles of the Lord regarding his ordinances on holiness, regarding the coming of the Messiah, our King, our Redeemer and Savior. Jehovah Ori, the Lord, my light. Jehovah Miskabi the Lord, my highest tower, Jehovah Mephalchi, the Lord, my deliverer, Jehovah Masi, the Lord, my refuge, he is coming to visit Europe, and he has chosen to visit Finland in a very historic manner at this time. And this is a relentless conversation. It's a non-stop conversation. I don't know which number now. I've lost track of which number, whether the seventh time he's speaking about Helsinki or the fifth. I do not know. But all I know is that there is going to be a tremendous historic visitation of the Lord. Immediately he brings his servant into the land of Finland. And they too will now be able to behold this treasured end revival that is of eternal value. May the Lord bless the nations tuned in. May you also cry for your nation. This is the hour when the Lord is visiting the nations. He has sent a slave. He has sent his slave with a spade in his hands. And this slave has a spade and is covering up all the potholes. He's making smooth the rough and rugged places. And he's painting all the curbs. He's preparing the way because the king is coming. The Messiah is coming. And if the Messiah will find a way in Finland, he'll pass there. So this is the hour at which the nations are being visited. The nations are now deliberately and intentionally regrouping and recruiting themselves on one intentional purpose, to prepare the holy way for the glorious coming of the Messiah. So you can cry for your land, and the Lord is faithful enough. The Lord will always accommodate every single yearning heart, yearning for righteousness, yearning for holiness, yearning for upright standing with the Lord. And so I see a massive visitation come to Finland. This is a beautiful time for Europe. May the Lord bless the nations as we prepare for the coming of the King of all kings. And on that day, as it takes the church, we will dance, we will rejoice, we will worship him and praise him eternally. We'll worship him and his God. And we'll worship the Holy Spirit. And that is the day when the nation and the church will defeat sin. May those who have ears, well, take off some of these things of the world put them a little bit aside, especially the distractions, and prepare the way for eternity. We seem to be sitting on the verge of eternity. May the Lord bless you. Shalom. Mm-hmm.